my second SiO2 doll, CO2 doll. She came in the other day, but I haven't really had a chance to um, put her on camera because her head back and the front part of her face, actually, the magnets had popped out in shipping. And it literally took us all week to find a glue that would hold the magnets in firm enough to hold uh, but her big, heavy bobble head together. But we finally got it. And here, <laughs> she obviously needs some work. Here she is. She's got her eyes in, but her eyes are pretty much closed. She has a closed eye version of the sheep that I showed you last time. And she is phenomenally cute. I think that the next purchase I make for dolls is going to be some of those little rubber, thin rubber doll stoppers that fit um, in between like their head and also their legs so that she can kind of stand and hold her head up because their heads are so heavy that literally they just fall and roll um, and I really don't want that. I want her to have some subsidence there to hold and hold her poses as well because she's so cute I want her to stand up. Um, but she also came with a butt ton of extras this time. I bought the entire package of accessories this time. Uh, last time I only got some bits and pieces. This time I just went ahead and bought the whole $70 um, accessory kit. And actually you get so freaking much more than I thought you did. I just can't even believe what all you get for $70. It's amazing. So um, the first thing you get is something to help string her if you didn't buy her strung. It's an extra ten dollars to buy her strung and like hell if I am going to actually string that thing. No. So I paid the big old hefty fine of ten dollars to have her pre-strung. Um, the next thing I noticed that in the newer dolls uh, you get a more advanced instruction manual. In the first one I got it was just a thin sheet of paper that actually was like already torn up and wadded up and but this one has much better and detailed instructions on how to string it. Again, I did not do that. I totally wanted her pretty strong because just for obvious reasons, I'm not going to go through all that. So the first thing I got was the pair of bunny slippers like I showed you in the last doll. Um, unpaint. All of it comes unpainted. You do not have a choice. So I'm going to have to send it off. So you get the bunny slippers, uh, the second pair of slippers, which are little cats, you can see in there. You get two hammer. Okay, so you get like two of all the weapons. So you get two of these amazing star hammers so she can double fist the weapons. So cool. You get two masks, which are really kind of scary. There's a gorilla, and then there's a super creepy happy face mask um, that they're supposed to wear like up here on their head. If you've ever watched an anime or anything, and they, for some reason, wear the masks up here, that's what these are supposed to be. Um, I still don't understand that fully, but it's cute premise. Uh, I got the long hair. And again, this all came with the just the optional accessory pack. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome, really. Okay, you get double swords. They're like spiky swords. They have a lot of detail actually that you can't really see it so well here on camera. So she's dual wielding swords. You get a pair of awesome hands that hold guns. So that is pretty freaking cool. You have her grabbing hands so that she can clasp all of these things. Well, maybe. Let's try that again. Her grabbing hands, or not, you know, whichever. There we go. You can kind of see them. Uh, her star wand. So I guess she can be a magic wielder, or she can be a, a gun wielder, she can be a melee weapon wielder. And then, I think this is the last piece, it is this awesome little shield that has a little grasp on the back so that she can hold it. Now these things are so 
cool and they're all made of resin it's not like they're made of cheap flimsy crap i think that's it yeah so that was all in this little box um so yeah do i love these dolls i absolutely adore these dolls i cannot believe how cute they are and how many things come can come with them um it's just like customizing a little fan of fantasy character or some sort of like little um like a game character like an online game you can just kind of customize it the way you want and i just think that is the coolest thing um the next one i have or the next two i have on order is a centaur sheep which i showed a picture of in the last video it's like it's got four legs and uh big rolling ram horns and then the other one is like a cat they call it a civil um but it's a cat it kind of looks like the same shape as this but she has cat ears cat tail instead of this cute little floofy butt tail um and she's got more of a blue coloring i'm kind of debating i was gonna send this one to color as well because that's where my other one is right now oh i'm so i want to see her so bad like i can't wait for her to start her because i'm dying she's gonna be so amazing but she hasn't started her yet i think it's a little intimidating to paint something like this um and all the accessories i sent her as well um, but I think instead of sending this one off, I'm kind of thinking about keeping her as the ghost or spirit form of the other one. Like maybe she can go out of body and use other weapons in her out of body form. Um, still sending all these things off to get painted, but kind of leaving her in a ghostly form. I think that might be kind of cool because she's, she's kind of scarier looking. She's got a, a kind of her eyes make her a little creepier so I'm kind of debating should I keep her a ghost form of the other one or should I send her out to get colorified as well I don't really know um so we'll have to see I'm uh I've got a timer on because I'm actually sealing one of my new Lottie dolls that I just got um she sat outside all day in the the baking sun, uh, she she arrived from shipping today and they laid her on my porch right in the sun. So she's been sitting in the sun all day. When I picked up the box, I actually dropped it because it was so hot. And so when I opened her, the resin was super hot. So I thought I'm just going to go ahead and seal her now in case her face up begins to peel really fast. So that's, I've got my timer on every 20 minutes of going in there and spraying some msc on her to kind of get her to not peel before it's too late um but i'm gonna cut this off guys i hope you enjoy my new sheepy i will definitely make another video when my other animals come in my fairy tale village animals um so until then i did